We're now going to take a look at shipping methods and in this video we're going to set up shipping methods and use them when processing a sales order. So just so we know what we're all talking about, these are typical examples of shipping methods we might set up in BrightPearl. BrightPearl doesn't have the concept of carrier being separate, so we generally put the carrier name in the front of the shipping method, so FedEx, UPS and Royal Mail for example. At the bottom of the list you can see something called collect in store, and this is just used to demonstrate that shipping methods don't necessarily have to be from a real carrier, they can be anything you like. So here's some useful stuff to know about shipping methods. Usually they're used to let the fulfillment team know how to send goods to the customer. They might not be exactly what your customer has chosen, but when you do create a goods out note, it's inherited from the sales order shipping method. You can change it if you need. You use shipping methods as filters on the goods out note list to prioritize shipments based on carrier pickup time, so maybe you want to pick and pack your express consignments before your standard consignments. And custom packing templates can be set for each of your separate shipping methods, which we'll look at in the next video. If you're using BrightPearl with an integrated sales channel, such as eBay, Amazon or your website, remember this point too. If a shipping method has the same name in BrightPearl as on the sales channel, then the order shipping method is automatically set when it's downloaded from the channel. So make sure you set up your names in BrightPearl to be the same as those on the sales channel. Each sales channel has subtle differences, so have a look at our website documentation for the full information. Right, so now what we're going to do is add a shipping method into BrightPearl. In your BrightPearl account, go into the setup area and then on the left hand side, under shipping, choose shipping methods. To add a new shipping method, click the big green button and just type in the name you want. The code is only used by integrations, so add that if you need to. The optional list of allowed countries, the brake type and the brakes are used by BrightPearl's internal shipping quote system or shipping matrix, which we cover in a separate video and then require weight or number of boxes in the warehouse manager is a choice that you'd make if your integration requires that you need to override the weight or enter the number of boxes when you pack the goods out note. We won't worry about templates just yet, we'll cover that in the next video and click save. And there we have it, a new shipping method called UPS by 9am. Now we're going to see how this works with sales orders and processing shipments. Here we have a sales order for Ben Johnson that's been downloaded from one of our sales channels. There's been a line item added by BrightPearl with the name of the sales channel shipping method, in this case UPS Express Plus. And because that's exactly the same name as the BrightPearl shipping method, the order shipping method, which is in this menu, has been automatically set. We've also got the shipping and delivery accounting code, so that the amount goes onto our profit and loss in the right place and the price that's been charged by the sales channel. When I fulfill this sale by going fulfill and ship later, we have a goods out note created. I can click this goods out note to open it in a new tab where we can see the shipping method on the goods out note has been inherited from the sales order. I've also put a widget on my template to show the shipping method name on the document itself and I've done it here in red for clarity. If you want to add the shipping method name to your template, Make sure you edit the goods out note template or the packing note template and put the ship method name widget in. If you have a sales order you're taking over the phone, you'll need to add the shipping line manually. Click add row, type the shipping, any description you might want. Over in the price column, add the price you want to charge. And then from the shipping method menu here, choose whichever shipping method you want and then click save. In the same way as we had with online orders, when we fulfill this to a goods out note, that shipping method on the order will be automatically inherited. I'll also point out that when you're using partial or advanced fulfillment, you need to select the shipping method again. So even though it's been given to you here from the order, you also need to choose it when you're creating the goods out note or the dropship purchase order. When you're batch fulfilling sales orders from the sales list by selecting the ones you want and clicking the fulfill button, you can either choose to inherit the shipping method from the sale when you create the goods out note, or you can choose one of your shipping methods. And you can use that in conjunction with the filters on the sales list to prioritize certain orders. And you can even search within the sales for the shipping method line item. So here we're searching for next day, and by ticking the box, it searches line items. We then filter the report. 
and batch fulfill all of our next day sales using whichever shipping method we like. So now we have a list of goods out notes on the sales, goods out notes, due to ship screen. The shipping method is shown in the column over here on the right hand side and if you wanted to change that you can either do it one at a time by printing the goods out note or you can do it in batch by selecting a number of goods out notes and then clicking update shipping details. So now what we want to do is work through these goods out notes. We prioritise the ones that need to leave first, so we'd filter the goods out note list by shipping method. And here you can do more than one, so say UPS turns up all at once, we select all of the UPS shipping methods and then filter the report. There's the one that we've just created, which we can print to pick, pack and then ship. So there we saw how to add a new shipping method and how to use it on sales orders and goods out notes. In the next video we see how to create custom templates for each of your shipping methods.